Here is another lovely example. 54,x, y is an arithmetic sequence, and x, y, negative 450 is a geometric sequence. All the terms in the sequences are integers. Find x and y. Okay, so again we've got two unknowns, which guys just means that we need two equations. What are the two equations? Well, this time if I look at this, okay, this alone, I can only use the arithmetic sequence property. I can know the property, okay, arithmetic sequence means that if I take consecutive terms and I subtract them, I get the same value. And from there, I can get my first equation. Okay, I can get my first equation. I don't want A and D. That's not, we, we want X and Y. So if I wanted A and D, I could have used my um, uh, general term, but I don't want, I actually want unknown terms, which means I can use this. Okay, so I've got X minus 54 gives me the same answer than term 3, which is Y minus X would give me. Okay, and in this one, let's just write it a little prettier. So let's solve Y. So I can get Y on its own by adding an X on both sides. If I add another X here, I'll have 2X. So on this side it cancels, and now Y would equal 2X minus 54. Okay, this is my first equation, equation 1. Okay, another equation is if I use this and the fact that it is a geometric sequence. Okay, geometric sequence property is that term 2 divided by term 1 will give me the same answer as term 3 divided by term 2. Cool, term Two being y, so y divided by x, so term one is equal to term three negative four fifty divided by y. And again, I can try and solve y in this case, or any one of the two doesn't really matter. Okay, if I multiply both sides with a y. We're just making it look prettier. I don't like fractions at all. Cool thing about equations, I can just multiply um, everything with the denominators. Okay, so multiply both sides with a y to get rid of this denominator, and multiply both sides with an x to get rid of that denominator. Okay, so here we have y squared is equal to negative 45x. Sorry, 450x. And there we go, this is equation two. Okay. And in this equation I see oh I can replace y. Okay. Y can be replaced with two x minus four fifty. So from here I can say replace replace equation one into equation two. And that gives me two x minus 54 squared is equal to negative 450x. Cool. And from here I can just uh, multiply out this bracket, take all the x's to the one side uh, and solve the equation. So I get 4x what is this? Negative 108, negative 216x plus ooh, 54 squared. What's 54 squared? I'm not going to waste your time. I'm trying to do it in my head. Let's use the calculator. 54 squared, 2916 gives me 2916 is equal to negative 450x. Okay, so now let's add a 450x on both sides, just so that we can get it equal to zero on the right hand side. So that gives us 4x 
what's this, uh, plus 234 x plus 2916 is equal to 0. Cool. Okay, now a 4, can we divide a 4 into all of the terms? No, we can't. Reason why is 34 is not divisible by 4, which means 234 won't be. So let's just do 2. 2x, so I'm dividing everything with a 2. Plus, if this is divided by 2, gives me 117x. Plus, this divided by 2 gives me what? That's 1, 4, uh, 5, no, 1, 4, 9, 8. Not 9, 8, 5, 8. 1, 4, 5, 8 will give me 2916 is equal to 0. Okay, and now this is going to be one heck of a job to get this into... Ooh, that must be squared, sorry. Okay, when did I make that mistake? Ooh, from the beginning. Sorry, guys. Okay, so to put this in two brackets is going to be too difficult. So what I'm rather going to do is I'm just going to use my formula. You can always use your formula. The formula is a easy way to quickly find it. Well, might be an intimidating formula, but if you practice it quite a few times, you'll definitely uh, be very comfortable with it. So, let's substitute negative b. b is 117, so this negative 117 plus minus the square root of that whole thing. So, I'm not going to do the square root of that whole thing. I'm just going to do it on my calculator and put down the answer. So, it should be a nice number. So... Uh, b squared, which is 117 squared, okay, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times 1458. 1458 is equal to 2025, okay, and that's what comes underneath the square root. So if I take the square root of that and look at that, I promised you it was going to be a nice number, so it's plus minus 45. Okay, divided by uh, 2 times 2. Cool. Why did I promise it would be a nice number? Because they said initially that all of the numbers are integers. If it's not a nice number, you have made a mistake somewhere. And um, I do it very often, and that's how I know I made a mistake. Okay, so here, let's see what is that answer. So we have that 45. So let's calculate it. 117 with a negative plus 45. We first do the plus equals negative 772. So that gives me divided by 4 because I'm dividing with that. Divided by 4 gives me that x can be negative 18. Okay, or x can be, let's try the other one, 117 negative minus 45 is equal to negative 162 divided by 4, doom doom doom, okay, negative 40 comma 5, negative 40 comma 5, and this one uh, is not applicable okay it's a good answer but it doesn't apply to this question because they said all of the questions or all of the terms are uh, integers okay so this one won't apply which means we have our x value all we need to do now is find our y value okay so let's just use the easiest equation we had and that equation was this one there's a formula to work out y all I take is double x minus 54. So let's double x, 2, so y is equal to 2x, which is negative 18, minus 54, which gives me 2 times 18 is 36, negative 36, negative 54 gives me negative uh, 90, negative 90. And there I go.